Barack Adaya Hawa, Barack Adaya Hawa Shah, Barack Adaya Hawa, Barack Adaya Hawa Shah. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rikah Kadash. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shah be the name of His only begotten Son, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Now we're going to get into some facts. And this one is about Bulan, the king of Kasaria. And we're going to show how uh, the information about him exposes uh, these people that's uh, personating a, a fraud and pretty much trying to claim somebody else's identity. And uh, let's go into... Uh, Start it off with so scripture. You know, I'm going to Luke, Luke 12 and 2. It says, For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Nothing is going to be covered. Okay, then let's get real quick. Amos 3 and 7. It says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophet. So the prophets is going to get that revelation, and they're going to be revealing things that people tried to hide. Okay, and then you go into Jeremiah, who was trying to hide. It say, but I have made Esau there. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. See, not going to be able to hide. He going to uncover. See, nothing is going to be hidden and kept a secret. The Lord is going to uncover it. And so when you go into the history of this uh, Bulan guy, let's see, let's get the meat of it. It's out of off Wikipedia, easy access. Oh, and let's get this, uh, where is it? From... From here to here, it says, um, Khazar, Khazar uh, tradition held that before his own conversion, Bulong was religiously unaffiliated in his quest to discover which of the three Abrahamic religions would shape his own religious beliefs, he invited representatives from each to explain their fundamental tenets in the end he chose Judaism see so he wasn't understanding any of that stuff but then once they broke it down to him he came into say we want to choose Judaism and saying that we are Israelites we don't want to say we Christians and we don't want to say that we Muslims because the Christians was on one side, the Muslims was on another. So he invited all of them to talk to him, and he wanted to be in a spot where he was um, not in danger, where they wouldn't try to war with him, because the so-called Christians and the Muslims was warring with each other, because they had done took over pretty much most of the situation. So the Judaism was a rare thing, and uh, he... They wouldn't war with him if they he, they was dealing with the Judaism. So this is why he chose that. And so this is how these uh, Edomites became uh, practices of Judaism. Now, when you go into that um, Big Chew documentary, if you don't know about that, you sleep and you don't know what's going on. And if you're watching uh, these people, Propaganda Machine, which is on the uh, 
what used to be the news, but now you got all kind of other platform that news is coming out. But the mainstream news media that used to run everything, if you watching that, you're totally blind. You don't know what's going on. See, you got to get into the uh, alternative news and see what they bring out. Because they're not bringing out opinions and they're not bringing out uh, things that they just believe in. They giving you certified footage. See, when you see these Amalekites, they standing with the Chinese. They over there sitting with the president. You see them sitting with Putin. You see them sitting with America. You see them sitting with Korea, the China man, the Arabs. They sitting with everybody. See, that's like when, when back in the day when they were showing all these presidents going to kiss the Pope's ring. And they go visit the Pope and they go kiss his ring. See, what they kissing his ring for? Who the heck is he? See, then you, you start asking that question when you see the footage. See, they can just tell you anything. But once you see them bending down and they kissing this man in the ring, like he said, who the heck is he? See, he's the how he the uh false prophet of the Edomites. He's the prophet of the top prophet of the Edomite. And that's why they go kiss his ring. Cause this is what it really is all about. But see, they use Christianity and Judaism. And the Muslim so-called these Abraham these uh, Abrahamic religions to confuse the people from the truth, and until you see the footage for yourself, you're gonna be totally confused. But see, the Lord in these last days is exposing Amalek. That's why He said, "I have made Esau bear." Let's get some more on that. Say, "I have made Esau bear." Uh, second Thessalonians, the second chapter, starting at verse three, it say, "Let no man deceive you by any means." Meaning, eat these Edomites. Don't let these Edomites deceive you, because this is who they are: the devil, the deceiver. For that day shall not come except the falling away come, or except there come a falling away first. Meaning, the real Israelites is gonna fall away from the nationality. From the um, homeland, that's a uh, what Luke twenty one to uh, twenty four and um, what's the other one? Jeremiah seventeen and four. They will discontinue from their inheritance. They will discontinue from their homeland and get scattered out of their homeland. Then it, it, it says, uh, uh, "And that man of sin be revealed." See, this man got to be revealed. Esau got to be made bare his hiding places his secret places see got to be made bare he's hiding under the names of countries uh europe or europeans caucasians uh then he called himself white then he called himself anglo-saxon then he called himself uh british roman italian he got all these names of these places but this is not his identity. His identity is he is a Edomite, a child of Esau. You see, let's go ahead and get that. Genesis 36. It says, verse 8, Does dwell Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Now, mind you, that mount, they like to be in the mountains, in the clefts of the rock. That's why they call them Caucasians, because that means they cave dwellers. Verse 9, it says, And these are the generation of Esau, the father of the Edomites and Mount Seir. And let's go into that cave dwelling thing, uh, Job 30. Now, mind you, Job is in the land of the Edomites. And uh, they say he dwelt in the land of Uz. In Lamentation 4, it says that the Edomites, Edom dwelt in the land of Uz. So Job was in the land of the Edomites. And so when you go into 30, it tells you what happened to these uh, Edomites. It says, but now they were younger than I have, no, they, not but Salakia, but now they that are younger than I have me in the region, whose fathers I would not have disdain to have set with the dogs of my flock. We know in, in Hebrews 12 and 16 that Esau is a fornicator. They love dogs. That's why they be the dogs eating with them. They got all kind of dog uh, shelters 
They got dog um, uh, charities and dog uh, everything, dog hospitals. They don't got cow hospitals and, and, and cat hospitals, but they got a freaking dog hospital. And uh, they just in love with these dogs. Then get right to the point, verse 5, it says, uh, they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief. Because they are thieves. These are the thieves of the earth. Verse 6 is a to dwell in the clefts of the valleys and the caves of the earth and in the rock. That's why they was in Mount Seir dwelling in them caves. When you go into Obadiah, Obadiah, uh, what is it? Verse um Verse 3, it says, For the pride of your heart, mind you, this is the concerning Edom, in verse 1, but verse 3 says, The pride of your heart have deceived you, you that dwell in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high. See, this is where they dwell in these high, these mountains. That's what they call them, Caucasian, meaning cave dweller. Because they in them Caucasus mountain. We're in the caves, and then when you go into Petra, Petra, you look and see the mountain. They got houses carved in caves, carved into that mountain where they was in there living, with no running water. It's just in a freaking cave, like a bear or some animal. See, and they was up in there living. This is uh, but they got all kind of uh, statues. They got a, the eagle statue on top of the door or the entrance of the whole situation. And you see the, another a rock on the side with a bunch of freaking caves. And these people living in the cave, pooping and, and, and what are you eating? But anyhow, <laughs> so you got, um. then in verse five, it said, if thieves came to thee, see these people are thieves. That's why they chase them off. They chase them away from the other men or the other nations chased them away because they was a bunch of thieves. Because you living in the rock, you got to go to, to somebody's land in the valley and start stealing. Then you take take it from the valley and you run your behind back up in the up in the caves, see, and hide out. And this is this is um let me look at verse six. It says, How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? See, the Lord is gonna uh, search out his hidden thing and th this is what he said he would do nothing unless he revealed his secrets to the servants of the prophet and his secrets is what Esau is hiding then when you go back to um, 2 Thessalonians the second chapter around about the 8th verse it say and then that wicked and then shall that wicked be revealed which the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth see the scriptures give the history on these Edomites and link it all the way up to the Greeks and the Romans where we know them a certified white man and they connect them to these dragons where they can't hide their identity and try to say that they uh they the the the, the sons of Jacob because see they know they're not no sons of no Jacob but see they can try to tell that lie if they confused everybody and this is why they came up with that skin color uh crap they came up with the skin color mess to confuse the world on who, who is who and who um which nation is which let me end it on that note uh, isaiah 25 and 7 it says and he will and he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering calves over all people. Esau Edom is the one who put the covering calves on the people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. Who spread the veil over the nation? Esau Edom, the so-called white man, who is the deceiver, the antichrist, Satan, the devil. Devil just means to deceive. Adversary just, I mean, Satan just means adversary. And the devil just means to deceive. Ain't no such thing as some angels that done disobey. God didn't create the angels to be able to disobey. Just like when the, the nation of Israel, the house of David, when they get the spirit, he's going to put the laws into their heart where they ain't going to go off. 
And this is what he did with the angels. He just, that's why in Zechariah, let's get that real quick, just to eliminate this, this devil crap real quick. In Zechariah, when he gave the house of David the laws in their heart, this is what they're going to be called. It said in that, verse 8, In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David. The house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord before them. See, that law is going to be in their heart, and they're not going to be able to go off. See, they're not going to be able to disobey. They're not going to be going off because the law is going to be in their heart just like it is in the angels. The angels do not disobey. He didn't create them to be able to disobey. See, this is a lie from the Edomites that they came up with. The slave master, the colonizer, the, the thief and the murderer on the earth. See, he the one came up with that lie because he loved the lie and he get a pleasure and a high from that crap. See, this is what they like to do. And the angels don't go off. And the nation of Israel won't be going off when they giving out the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High and ruling all nations in the kingdom of heaven. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakadash, double honors to the elders pushing the truth, peace of the elect worldwide, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, descendants of slaves scattered around the globe on slave ships and through many captivities. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.